I'm a size 14. <laughs> the size that works the most. The size that'll make Janice a ton of money. There you go. <laughs> That's nice. I'm Amber Canaan from Pleasant Hill, California. I'll win Janice over by proving to her that you can be beautiful at any size. I got all this. <laughs> client was looking for a girl next door, just your average everyday woman plus size model. So you guys done any lingerie before? Every uh, night. <laughs> My view on plus size models is they bring in revenue to the agency. My mom is vehemently against anything that's not high fashion. Just the idea of plus size models to her is going to be like poison. It's a dream, it's a dream, it's a dream, it's a dream. So, ladies, we have our decision. Yeah, we love all of you guys because you guys have amazing energy. So, but I think um, Ivy is the best. You're the girl we want. I'm so excited. We're shooting tomorrow. I can't wait to show them what I have. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. you. you, Thank you. I've done things in the agency that my mom has been against, starting in the commercial division. This is by far the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Today's the day of the 7 to midnight shoot. I hope this thing goes well because I'm ready to be committed. What time is Janice coming today? Uh, I don't think she's coming until like noon or something like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Why are you nervous? Kind of just because she's very critical. The clients chose Selena, Dominic, and Sion for the shoot. Ivory doesn't fit into the theme of the agency. I don't care how hard everyone harps on me to take in a plus size. I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. Guys, we're going to start up with you guys with some really sexy lingerie. And then Ivory, you're going to be a sexy bellhop. And then we're going to put you guys back into sexy nurses. And you will be doctor, Dr. Midnight. <laughs> when I first arrived at the shoot, I was a little nervous. If you see me doing anything that you don't approve of or it just looks bad or whatever. Oh, don't worry just, about just it. Like, I'll, don't totally do that. Okay. I'll totally help you out. I was really hoping that I would please the clients, obviously. I mean, it's my first first shoot that I booked. I wanted not only Janice to be happy, but I also wanted the clients to be happy with the turnout. I'm not to force you to look so much, be a little bit more natural about it. Although she is new to this business, right. she never done laundry modeling before. She took instruction really well, and she just listened. Good. All right. That's perfect. Right. Very okay. sexy. So we need the next model. Sian, are you ready? Perfect. Sian is the female that I bonded with almost immediately. Good. That's well done. great. She has more experience than any other female in the house in the modeling industry. So there's a lot to learn from her. She's an amazing model, and she's a really good person too. Get him into the doctor costume because okay. he's just he's just laying there not doing yeah. anything. In this particular shoot, the, the clothes to me were you know very Halloweenish. You know, it's not Halloween. It's you know me being a doctor, me being a chef or a cop. You know, it's a little out of the ordinary. Good, good, good. Hold it. Dominic, right, loosen go. up. Dominic. Relax. Good. There you go. Say, Hold it. Dr. Matrimi, you need to. Do battle. Sound it out. Sound it out. Selena's out loud. doing great, but you need to do battle. Come on. I think the clients are a little anal. You know, they're talking a little about how I'm being stiff, but you know, I'm a prop, so I just think they're, um, they're being a little harsh. There you go. Like that. Yeah, pattern. that's great. Because I think he's used to more high fashion things, so it took him a while to get into the role of playing a doctor. Oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> nice. So Nathan Ivory is doing so well that we decided to do more with her. We want to take more shots of Ivory. Beautiful. Yeah. I walked into the shoot and Ivory was doing fantastic. The client and the photographer both were bragging nonstop about her. I'm really happy with uh, Ivory. She has a great personality. So thank you. Good job. Look at me over your shoulder. Perfect. Is everyone happy? Yes. And sister. I think Janice is going to be really pleased with how I look today and with this costume. I look amazing in it, and everybody said it, so I'm sure she's going to come in and be like, wow, girl, you look awesome. I see this huge, plus-size girl in a cop outfit. I thought it was bad porn. Nathan. Nathan. What's up? What's what? Can you find me a paper bag so I can breathe into it? I'm not going to do a plus-size agency. I'm sorry. I'm not into it. Let it be known right now, I'm not into fat. 
I don't want to attach my name to something that I'm vehemently against. Do you want the agency to stay afloat or not? And that's where we yes. are. Yes. So that's, then that's it. I better leave. I think maybe you should. No matter what, what my mom says, Ivy was a success at the shoot. The client loved her, the photographer loved her, and we did a great job with her. Well done on supplying this client, but I don't give a rat's ass. It's Halloween. Good. I think because when Janice was modeling in her prime, they didn't have plus size, she has always been told to stay skinny and to be skinny in order to be a model. She can't get out of that in her head. She doesn't believe that plus sizes can be models. You look amazing according to the client, thank and uh, thank you for doing this. My vision, my dream of having this agency as a boutique agency here in Southern California is coming to a close. It's not happening the way I foresaw it. I'm losing sleep and clumps of weave over it. I keep pouring myself and getting Nathan to come up with these commercial clients just to pay the bills. I look at Sion and I'm trying to help her lose the weight. And then I look at Ivory and I see her large frame and she's very content in it. I don't know what's going on. I consider you the plus size. I don't consider anyone else the plus size. Or you're on your way to the plus size if you don't stop those pizzas. No pizzas for lunch. I didn't eat anything. Well, no. You should have eaten a healthy breakfast no. before you left. We know Janice, all she wants is a high fashion model. She just wants us all to be able to say that, you know, we worked hard for our bodies and we worked hard for this job and it's not easy. It's not an easy job that you can just walk into and have. What'd you call it? Where'd you get that from? The Goonies. The Goonies? They call it the Truffle Shuffle? But the kid does it like this. Oh, he does? He like, feels like this. Dude, the big, the fat kid? Oh, Janice would love that one, huh? Yeah. Yeah, she, she loves those big-sized people. Not. <laughs> I'm definitely included in the category of big-sized people. No, you are not. Why would you say you're fat? Janice says I'm fat? I don't think I'm fat. It doesn't bother me. I like my body. I got these. <laughs> yeah, but Janice is very set on being, you know, super standard, like, size zero. So it's come from, you know, Basically, the history of the the origin of the supermodel. Right. Where, you know, it's it's you hold yourself with pride and tradition to be that skinny. You know, out of the norm. You yeah, know? well, before it wasn't such a problem as it is like nowadays. Like you know, when Janice was modeling, you didn't have to be like three pounds. Now you have to look like like you're f dying or something. The expectations are getting higher and higher and higher year after year after year for models. And I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, make myself unhappy and make myself unhealthy to look good in front of a camera. You, know, you did last year, last year you got like, super skinny. But it's scary because at that weight, when I was like so low, where for two months all I did was live in a gym yeah. and write down everything I ate. And okay, I didn't, you know, I wasn't going up in the bathroom and starving but you myself, know, but right. that, still you, a you can't live a normal lifestyle like that. Every profession has something that sucks in it that you don't like to do, you know. And um, and unfortunately, you know, your diet is probably the biggest issue that all models really face. 